Hi everyone, welcome along to our online training session today. Today we're going to show you how to replace the PCB on our 100 heat only boiler using the V-Guide mobile app. When you get your new PCB, when you get it out of the box, it comes as a whole unit just as this. This is the front as you can see in the screen. On the back, if you turn it round, you'll see the new PCB does come with a Wi-Fi board pre-installed. The Wi-Fi board's connected via these ribbons, just make sure yours is connected up as per this shot. This all comes in the box when you order a PCB. So to replace the PCB, just follow the instructions in the booklet that you get in the box. And just a quick overview of that is you uh, undo the screws underneath the boiler, which is connected to these two hinge clips underneath the PCB. Undo the electrical connections and then replace in reverse order. Just a tip, what I do is I always take a picture of the electrical connections in situ before I start removing them. Okay, so once you've replaced the PCB, it's then time to use the V-Guide app to do the commissioning. Okay, so we've now swapped the PCB over physically. It's now time to commission the PCB using the V-Guide app. Okay, as you can see on the front of the boiler, the boiler already comes up with AP mode. If you've by somehow accidentally taken out of AP mode, we do have videos on this on our YouTube installer channel on how to put the boiler back into AP mode. But just as a quick overview, we press the menu and OK buttons together for four seconds. We go to B5, press OK, and then the boiler's back in AP mode. Okay, so over to the app now to do our commissioning. So as you can see on the app, we've got a spare parts replacement uh, section. We click on that. And then because we're doing the 100 boiler today, we click on HBMU replacement for Vitstons 1 series. Start replacement. Okay, it does give instructions there again, how to replace the PCB itself. So we click continue because we've done that part already. It's now asking us to scan the VIN number, which is the serial number on the data badge. On this one, it's just on the top of the boiler. So I'm just gonna go now and scan the VIN number. There you go, it's accepted the number, so we press continue. And now we need to connect our mobile device, so our phone, to the boiler itself, to that Wi-Fi card in the boiler. So we click on continue, I'm gonna scan with the QR code, and the QR code is the one on the front on the Wi-Fi sticker. Okay, so click on join. Okay, so we're now connected, we click on continue, and now it's starting the calibration. It's now calibrating that new PCB. So we'll just wait for that to continue. Okay, if you get a notification to uh, use mobile data or continue using Wi-Fi, always select uh, keep trying Wi-Fi. As you can see now, the calibration is uh, successfully finished and that's our uh, PCB now calibrated. Okay, so we follow it through and we're back to the main screen on the app. Okay, you will hear the boiler uh, start up again and I've just hit the pump come back on. Okay, so you can see now it's completely finished and the boiler is still in AP mode. To come out of AP mode, we press and hold the menu button for four seconds. And we're now back into the commissioning menu from the front of the front panel of the boiler. Go through the commissioning steps as you would have done when you originally set the boiler up. And if you haven't done this yet, please see our other video on our YouTube installer channel for commissioning the 100 heat only.